So, let's go ahead and yeah. This is the one and only time where you can use the three Asians who've been alongside you. Vana, Hyphodeus, and yes, even Emmett Selk. As the new um, party, if you want to. Oh, also Astoria. Yeah, keep me company, Thaya, please. But in any event, we need to prepare ourselves for battle. And to do so, we must go and visit this place. Kittisus Hyperborea, the most extensive facility in Elpis, Kittisus Hyperborea is a sprawling complex of magically stimulated environs. Concepts awaiting evaluation are brought here for the last stages of observation and, upon meeting the appropriate criteria, are finally released into the world at large. Determined not to surrender Medion, it is in with this, within this facility that Hermes has taken refuge, and you and your companions must find and confront him if you are to shed light upon the truth of the final days. And if you want to be in here, your item level has to be no lower than 515. Which, if you haven't reached that point by now, like, I feel sorry for you. And so, here we are, our fourth dungeon of Endwalker. A place where, yeah, it's not just the tower, it gives you a whole lot more. Welcome to Kitsis Hyperborea. So let's open the door and walk on inside with the party almost entirely of Mikote. Right, away we go. Please turn back. Or I might be forced to. Alright, yeah. Ape <laughs> amazing that I'm able to do that while running. Oh, get away from that! And I'll hold my ground. Now we'll go. All right, there, Bard. I'm out trying to you, and let's go. Now let's run this way and keep going. Everything you got, guys. Yeah, our tank is not going to be shy about pulling big here. Load up. Right, here we go. And one more Nastron to see us through. Moving on. It seems that way, doesn't it, Bubba? Welcome to the stream, glad to have you with us. Yeah, at least get this off. So yeah, we're already changing environments. We're going from the greenery over there, and now we're kind of going into the snow. Yeah, they did say there were a lot of simulated environs in here, and they're not kidding about that. Yeah, if this was a Dr. Seuss book, it would be, oh, the places you'll go. Then again, you really could say that about Endwalker as a whole to this point. I almost got the... Last thing down. There we go. And rough. Oh, gotta wait. Yeah, red light. There's other stuff here that we gotta fight off. As we go all the way up to the force field. Alright, Bard. Latch on to me.
Also, I realized I went out of sequence there. Oh, careful. Yeah, so... Um, 6.01 went up today, and apparently for beating the dungeon, we're gonna get even more experience than we would've um, before this patch went up, so... Yeah, that was not something I was expecting. And it seems like I'll be getting to 90 and maxing out a lot sooner than I was expecting I would. Alright, we bust through that and make our way to mini boss number one. The Lysa. Here we go. Let's get it done. Make sure to avoid that tank buster. And then just go all out. And being forced to move. Yeah, we gotta keep an eye on the snow tracks. They are the hint that tells us where the boss is going. And what he's leaving in his wake. Yeah, had to unfortunately lose my Nastron there, but we gotta stay safe here. Now we have Ice Skulls that are gonna be raining down, much like the Fenrir fight in Snowcloak. But you gotta stay away from the danger. Oh, got pulled all the way over there. Well, I can't follow you that way. At least not until that stuff goes down. And another tank buster to dodge. And in the meantime, here's your Gears Pogo Nastron combo. Oh. Send him back to the middle. At least let me get that off before you vanish. Looks like we're going this way. Ride it out. Yeah, it launches his terrible attack at us. Don't move too far. And there we go. Show him how it's done. And I got two notes back. Watch out for danger. I guess he was going to come back to the middle anyway in order to do this. Oh, so it's a Delta and a Stack Mech. Oh, that's a brutal combo. Thankfully, the Delta goes down before we um, end up getting ourselves in a world of pain. Another Tank Buster. Brace himself because he's going away again. I right, gotta wait it out. Um, they're going over this way. Yeah, come on out of hiding. There you are. Go. Yeah, thankfully my rotation does not go away, which is very helpful. Also, I didn't need to use Battle Lydney there. But, we'll take our victory all the same. Now we get to see level 87 gear. And we'll also begin ascending the tower. So, out of the snow, and now heading indoors. Away we go. Line him up so I can shoot him down. Uh, we can't do that, Hermes, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission from God. Alright. Get a good trio of moves going. And then just lay into it. And 
And here's Kogan Astron and Stardiver. Boom! Alright. Everything's set up for another. Whoa! Well, not quite. There we go. Now we got it. And go. Use it right there. There we go. That works just fine. Next section. Chase after the pack. It doesn't look like they're going any further. And also, there are Easter egg things we can read. Yeah, we... We see them in various dungeons, but I never really make it a point to actually read them because, of course, we're in the middle of fighting! We have to make forward progress, especially since we know that Hermes is kind of snapped. Up, up, and away! Give it everything you've got, guys! A quick mirage dive off. Good. Oh, here we go. Next section. Now we got lions to deal with. Yeah, known as Le Lapis. Yeah. Got me on my knees, Le Lapis. <laughs> uh, I could not make that work, even if I tried. Even if I tried, I couldn't make that work. Yeah, it took, it took me a long time to realize um, that that song, um, that the um, high intensity um, guitar section and then the slow um, section in the second half of the song were actually the same song. I always thought that there were two different songs for, for, for so many years. Let's get him with our gears, Kogol. There we go. There's nothing beyond there. Okay, there's a treasure chest. He was like, why haven't we seen another treasure chest yet that we can take advantage of? Well, it doesn't have something I can use, but we'll move on to mini boss number two. We have a Hydra on our hands, known as the Laden Lord. Alright there, Hydra. Let's dance. Let's waste no time in limit breaking you. Yeah, show them how it's done. And load up. Take this. Oh, jumping into the middle. Yeah, probably want to be, don't want to be standing in the line of fire. Clearly not. Now he turns around again very quickly. Give it all you got, guys. Oh, hi. He's about to... Blows some chunks again. Well, this time he does a bit of a fake out. Now he's going and breathing twice. And now he's got fireballs on the field. Where are they gonna land? Yeah, the tank kind of trying to draw it away. And that's why. Yeah, don't move. Okay, now move. Yeah, this guy's been so tough. Until until now, that is. Yeah, he really hadn't done much until just now. Yeah, the, the RNG aspect of that doesn't really help. Of course, it's very well likely not RNG, and I haven't done this enough to be aware of tell. Alright, I'll follow you there, Tank. You seem to know what you're doing. You do. Oh, jeez. But now we gotta run to the stack mech. Mm. 
Yeah, you're getting fancy now, aren't you there, late on? Oh, which way is he breathing next? Yeah, you only breathe them from two heads still. If I remember correctly from early access, if he lives long enough, he can go for three. I have no idea. Whoa. Yeah, I think I can dodge this. And I'm glad I can. Ow. Well, maybe not. Nope, still on two. Alright, we're good. Load up two. I beg your pardon? Um, how did I die there? Did the healer just not choose to heal me enough to survive that? Yeah, I have no clue what just happened. But in any event, up the tower we go. I cannot let you take me to Not yet. Yeah, but the only reason you're holding on to her still is because of the fact that she still is going to be preaching non-stop doom and gloom. Uh, yeah, I, I can see how it's getting tilted inward. Can I latch onto you? Nope. Tank, you'll have to suffice. Yeah, come on. Hit the thing there. Also, use this. Yeah, you got it. Use it. Yeah, the things we can get confused by. Use Pogo Nastron, Star Diver, go. Yeah, it's getting really foggy now. And we're starting to gain altitude. I mean, we were before, but now we really are. And yeah, this is where all the birds hide out. This is all where they hang out and they do their things. Things that only birds can do. Take that. Right, load up. Down you go. Whoa, and just in time, too. Almost there. Moving on. Alright, you're done away with. Jeez, I'm already coming up on empty on gear. Meanwhile, we are gaining some altitude, and we are now officially above the heavens. You heard their answers. Yeah, you, you just can't bring yourself to admit that they're all true. You just can't bring yourself to admit that they're all true and that your creations are seeing that there are no worlds out there other than your own that have people who um, you who you can share kinship with, as it were. They all have a penchant for destruction. Eventually, yours will have a similar fate. Flying life forms an introduction. <laughs> Go. Oh. Yeah, I realized what was going on. Also, yeah, I'm under attack. Load up. Careful. Gotta be careful here. <laughs> really? I mean, you do, you do know that's pedophilia, right? One 
almost got this one down. Finish it off. There we go. Alright, let's hustle. Because the final battle awaits. Yeah, Hermes drove us all the way here. And now we gotta fight him. Dude, you are creepy so, as fuck. It comes to this. I have no wish to fight, but this time, I cannot yield. Though the world may think me a mad, desperate fool, I will hold fast to my conviction. And I wouldn't blame you for doing so, but yeah. You're so desperate to save the the um, person who's warning you of all these places where an apocalypse acquired or where a pop an apocalypse occurred whatever in any place we have bad things happening but you can't bring yourself to acknowledge them and we have a mole going that way where is the tank go? Oh, you're suggesting stay in the middle? It was the right call. Watch the tank buster. Oh, you're dropping meteors now? Who do you think you are? Nail Von Darnus? Yeah, we gotta endure the shock waves. And then they all say run over here. Because this is the only place to be safe. Yeah, don't deal us a bad hand. Oh, but there was a follow-up! There was a follow-up because of course there was. Yeah, I followed to some extent, but not completely. Also, we need to spread out for this move. Oh, and now it needs its indelible mark. True bravery, he calls it. That's not brave at all. And also, you don't have an ability to interrupt him. Yeah, the tank is missing the interrupting ability. Interject. Got you halfway. Where are we going? Not that way or that way. Oh, it's it's gonna be staggered. It's gonna be staggered. Just waiting for him to make his move. There he goes. Now we just wait. Run here. I figured it out. The bard didn't. Oh, but now we have to stay spread out. Once again, indelible mark left. And keep pouring it on. And stay away from that. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Bubba, but the, the NPCs in this game are like um, cartoon characters. And also, you do have interrupts. Yeah, they're like cartoon characters. They exist for many years and they never age in canon. That's why you still have a 10-year-old Bart Simpson. That's why you still have a 10-year-old Ash Ketchum. That's why you have an 8-year-old Lisa Simpson. That's why you Stewie Griffin is still a baby. Etc, etc. Watch out for the quad shock. Apparently we're going here. I don't know if this is absolutely required, but at least I see what's going on. Also, I might as well just use this now. And pop it up, pop it up. No, 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 no! 
Oh, that's too scary! That's too scary! Oh, I, that would have sucked if I got killed by someone else other than the boss! That would have just been the worst! Well, less than 10% you will be. Oh, you're going that direction. Bard, latch on to me. Yeah, he's not even going to get this off. He's not getting this off. And even if he got off one, it would have been too little too late. We win. Sucks. Yeah, you're back to normal. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, and you lost your mask. Yeah, now you have to show me your face. And there are the rest of the Asians. I wonder how they react to when you win. Yeah, not a single thing for me to find in amongst all that stuff. I guess I'll have to rely on the treasure chest to find out if there's anything I can find that is suitable to build up my gear. Because, yeah, I'm still relying on a lot of default gear. But in any event, let's be on our way. So after our victory... Yeah, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide there, Hermes. It's over, Hermes. In the name of the Convocation, I hereby take Meteon into custody. And setting aside the matter of your nomination, you will come with us too. We require your knowledge to assess and resolve the situation. Because, yeah, your creation is all about doom and gloom now. <sighs> Meteon... I am so sorry but that I could have listened to your report in full. You already knew what was in there. Reflected upon its meaning and conveyed it to others. That they might reconsider their chosen course. But I have failed. And that wish will never be realized. However, last gasp, ere our fates become the province of others, I bid you tell me just one thing. Was there any good news? Was there happiness in those distant stars? Was there a reason? For living. I think you're just hoping against hope. We conducted our search as per your instructions. We scoured historical records, communed with the spirits of the deceased, heard the final testaments of the dying welcomed their shadowed hearts into our own. One race had striven to create a world oh, no. bereft of animosity. Now she's gonna transform into... She was the they very first. ...relationships to avoid interpersonal strife. And in so doing, brought about societal collapse. One race had renounced war and devoted itself to the enrichment of its people. Yeah, the one you're associated they were with. Conquered. Though they destroyed the enemy in reprisal, they could not regain their former glory. One race had concluded that finite time was the root of all woes. Aspiring to shatter its shackles, they went in search of infinity. They discovered nothing is infinite and that neither time or death can be cheated. Disillusioned, 
they gave up on the future and themselves. One race had discarded all things that gave rise to sorrow, hoping to have only joy. They found joy lost its savor in the absence of sorrow and lost their will to live. The worlds apart, these peoples shared a belief. The belief that they had tried their best. That they had tried to fulfill their potential with every step and success. In and the now, course of which, they learned the truth. And now that you have your funny upgrade point. That they would never be free of fear and sorrow, anger and despair, of loneliness, so long as they yet lived. And now she's just a monochromatic shell. Even now, their souls cry out for oblivion. And to this song of anguish, I lend my voice. We lend our voice. Oh, beloved mankind, shimmering jewels of beautiful Atheris, rejoice, for we will free you from the cruel yoke of existence. There is no need to struggle in vain, for in nihility awaits salvation. You will know peace and serenity, and it will be beautiful. The reason for the final days is a we little girl. We will make our nest at the edge of the universe, and there in the dark of dead worlds, hoard sorrow and suffering. There we will sing, our chorus ever louder and ever clearer, that our song may reach even this ether-shrouded star. Such is the answer we have found in the stars. Such is the gift we now offer to Atheris. That is so creepy. Sorry, Hermes. I guess that's why you hit your breaking point, too. Who are you to decide our fate? To decree we live or die? Oh, don't worry. You'll make that choice soon enough. Oh, not again. Or are you going to... Yep. Have you lost your mind? You heard what she said. She means to destroy us all, yet you'd still take her side? He is Fan Daniel, after all. In the name of the star, we have discarded those creations that we deemed flawed. Every single one of them. If we ourselves are flawed, does not stand to reason that we too should be discarded. That is sophistry, and you know it! Perhaps it is. Perhaps I am wrong. But who is to say that you are right? Yeah, even I can't get out of this. Let us settle this. With a determination. In my authority as Chief Overseer of Elpis, I will make a judgment on man's fitness to exist. If he can learn to value all life and retain his will to live, even should his end be justified. He will surely find a way to avert his demise. If not, he will perish from the star. As with all determinations, provisions must be made to ensure fairness. Kairos! Awaken! Oh, who's gonna say hi? 
a sundial of doom. Memory reconfiguration system Kairos activated. Awaiting instruction. Command. Universal memory alteration. Target area. Catesis Hyperborea. Starting point. Arrival of Emmett Selk. Of the convocation at Propylia. Endpoint. The present. Erase the memories of all events. And replace with a vague recollection of the following. I was here. Preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos. To Emmett Selk. And Hithodeus. Meteon's shared consciousness became unstable. She and her sisters could not sustain their existence. And all dissipated with a burst. The resultant shockwave accidentally triggered Kairos, which erased several days of memories from all present. Execute. What a painful way to go out. Acknowledged. Initializing. Three processes remaining to execution. Do I have no way to stay myself? Bravo. I dare say one would be hard pressed to make it fairer. Everything that you told us, everything that has happened, the fact we've even met, it will all be gone. Sorry, man. Yeah, he made it that way. Go, Meteor. To the edge of the universe, where none can reach you. And thus Hermes basically controls the convocation. Won't you come with me? If you were to shed your flesh, I should be able to carry you. No, he's got a job to do. <sighs> I will remain. As a man, I will oppose the oblivion you bring. And then eventually embrace it. Silly fool. Had you said yes, I would have granted you the gentlest end. Yeah, not exactly a mercy, is it? Oh, hold on. Oh, thank you for someone this doing something. Yeah, stand up to him, someone! Fly, Meteor! Yeah, she's getting away. We're allowed to go free too. That is far enough, Hermes. Shouldn't we focus on stopping the sundial? Argos, to me. Chase after her as much as you can, but I don't think it's gonna help. First process complete. Two remaining to execution of memory reconfiguration. As if we needed more pressure. Is there anything we can do? No matter what, you cannot forget what happened today. For it is the key to saving your future. Your world. This fight is our fight. What comes after, our problem to contend with. Not yours. No. Your own struggle awaits. And no one else can take your place. All right. You must flee this place with your memories intact. And I will see that you do. Yeah, get me out of here quickly. Now then, where is it? Yeah, better hurry. We only got a minute left. There you are, my little confluence. Meanwhile, the chase continues. How fast can a dog run after a girl? Yeah. Argos, do you have turbo boosters at all? Oh, she's close, but I don't think enough. Oh, she just... She turns into a little bird and flies away. Very well, then. So she tries to zap her. 
Well, he's hit up with a tracker. He may elude us this day, but not forever. Yeah, meanwhile... Yeah, we can only watch helplessly. Etion's gotten away. Second process complete. One remaining to execution. No. No time for brooding. Yeah, just get me out of here, man. Listen well. Beyond lies a spatial confluence that connects the interior sections of this building. I will destroy the confluence and force open a way outside. When I do, you must jump through. All right. Meanwhile, oh, so he's going to try and stop this. How sorry I am. But neither can I let you escape. Yeah, of course. Oh, behind you. You should probably take that shot now. Oh god. That is a long way to fall. Too brave by half. See, so just rip open a hole in space time. Exemplary work, as always, Emmett Selk. What? But how? I thought the confluence was over. Over there? Yes. We were rather hoping you would. Did you use your unnecessary never shot? Anywhere but where it is now. The instant those two began making their way towards nothing, it was clear the plan was a diversion. But you're still going to give into the sundial. Destroying a confluence, I must confess. A gambit brazen beyond words. Though we've grown accustomed to reckless improvision due to the antics of an incorrigible associate. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Though, in the case of certain present company, incorrigible is an understatement. Honestly. I'm beginning to suspect it's a requirement for every Azen. Yeah, where are you in the meantime? Saving me! There's no time! Quickly! Make a mad dash! Even now, I do not believe your tale. I would not suffer us to walk such a wretched path. Oh, you will. Deny it Still, all you want. If it must be said... Do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. What legacy are you leaving me? Well, at least I can know you as an ally for once. Final process complete. Executing universal memory alteration. Get me out of here! The Sundal is doing its thing! Go, Argos! Yeah, the girls will get away. But not everyone else will be as fortunate. And then later that night. Yeah, we didn't get our memories wiped, but still. Can't help but feel like you end up suffering some sort of side effect. <sighs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Just a little tired. I th so, yeah, I think we now, everything now makes sense. Here's what happens. With the Convocation, um, of course, having their memories erased by Hermes, they ultimately go on to trigger the final days, and Vana being the only one who escapes with any recollection of what's happened, has to do what she has to do in order to save everyone.
Can it be true? Are we the only ones left who see beauty in the world? In life? Are the stars above no more than husks of fallen civilizations? We're still here, right? And yet... I feel her. Though she is unimaginably distant, I feel Meteon's presence. And the place where to we must go. We? Ere she made good her escape, I placed an enchantment upon her. One which allows us to follow her trail. Aren't you going to have suspicion if you try and pursue? She has already left the outermost bounds of Atheris and continues on her way. Given the vastness of the universe, it will still be no easy feat to track her down. But thanks to Emmet Selk and his Ladeus, all is not lost. We remember. So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we kind of know what becomes of the others. What now? What indeed. Let us begin by ascertaining the situation at Ketesis Hyperborea, where the others should still be. And where we'll have to introduce ourselves all over again. Also, hey there, Lou. Welcome Given to Stream Glad to have you with us. the state of their memories, however, it would be imprudent for us to approach them directly. In which case... You'll do, so do it solo? I am sorry, my friend. I've asked much of you this day. But may I trouble you one last time? It's like, oh, all right. Argos will investigate in our stead. We will share in his consciousness and see and hear as if we were with him. Now, close your eyes. And open your mind. All right, then. Yeah, echo time. Oh, echo in a sense. Yeah, there are the three of them. Thank goodness you are unharmed. Unharmed? There is a gaping hole in my memories. I can scarcely remember arriving here in Alpus. Forgive me. I was... preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to our guests. But Meteon... her shared consciousness became... unstable. And she... she... And you began to sow the seeds of the big lie. So, that's what prompted the state of alert. And when you went to investigate, you were caught in Kairos's accidental operation. So it would seem. It's all a blur to me. Such an unfortunate accident. Oh, and what of Venar and your other companion? You went inside together, as I recall. Yeah. They apparently know of me, but they obviously don't. We did? Yeah, you won't if remember Fenar either. was with us, I have no recollection of it. But that there is her familiar, is it not? The fellow seems happy enough, so I think it's safe to assume his mistress is well. I haven't the slightest notion who this other companion might be, however. Nope, you don't. Ah, well, that individual struck me as a bit different, for want of a better word. Perhaps yeah. it wasn't actually a person, but some manner of creation. 
curious. I must ask Venara about it when next we meet. Yes, yes, you do that. Now, if we may tend to Hermes, whatever this Meteon did, it seems he bore the brunt of it. Once you are fit to travel, you will return with us to Amarot. We need to make certain there are no other ill effects. Also, I am here on business of the Fourteen. We've already had the conversation, like as not, but since your toy wiped my memory, we'll have to have it again. Yes, of course, as you see fit. This Kairos, it manipulates memories through the emission of etheric waves, correct? There is a theory which holds that memories scoured by blasts of ether are restored when the soul is cleansed in the underworld. Yeah, you never get to experience that, do you? If true, then perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. I doubt aught of interest occurred. <laughs> Look forward to the revelation if you like, but I should prefer to reminisce on more meaningful moments. Yeah, like how you'll bring about the apocalypse. So now that we saw what happened to them. Let us rest. If only for a while. After all, you and I... Oh, we still have a long, long way to go. To put it bluntly. Yeah, to call that insane is nothing short of an understatement. For now. Are you feeling at all recovered? I understand that your exertions are more than purely physical, but resting one's body, if only for a moment, is never without merits. As for Hermes, I think it unlikely he will create more entelechies. Yeah, unless he wants to see even more apocalypses. He poured much of himself into Mission, and now that she and her sisters are gone, dissipated in his mind, the grief must be unbearable. He will blame himself, he will blame that had he never acknowledged this dissatisfaction of the world, then the meteor would have never been born to suffer and die. The offer to join the Fourteen will be a welcome destruction, and one day hence, he will face the advent of the final days in the role of Fan Daniel. Indeed he will. And so we'll take our 495,000 experience points, 4,000 gil, and an Aether Currents. And so, there we go. And there we are. That's enough points to get me to max out at level 90, gain the ability Wormwind Thrust and Lance Mastery 4, and my Dragoon Gauge is now grown. 